All right, hey guys. So again, it's like the Eternity video. I'm mic'd up here for some live feedback on the line to see what, I, what I'm seeing out of this ball. So I'm gonna start in the absolute here. Big, um, big asymmetric block, very high differential, higher intermediate, lower RG, and then um, that R2S deep, which is supposed to be a little bit cleaner, a little bit faster than R2S, which is already very clean and fast to begin with. So I'm going to start a little bit straighter again, try to keep it really in front of me, get into that house shot funnel. If there's anything right quick, um, just seems to go sideways. There you go. That was pretty good. It's actually probably about the best shot that I've thrown today so far. So for me, um, I've been having a little bit of issues with this ball. I've had it for about a month now, throwing it a decent amount. Um, I ended up hitting it with some more surface to knock the factory shine off. It's kind of let it lane shine a little bit. Uh, anytime it starts getting a little bit shinier, though, it seems to just never really slow down for me. And it's not helpful, obviously, on this um, current condition because this pattern is extremely stretched. So I'm going to move one left with my foot, zero with my eyes, just try to get it right a little bit quicker. And get to slow down a little bit faster. Again, good move. Yeah, it's about right. <laughs> uh, again, pretty good move. Execute is pretty good. And uh, about the result that I've been experiencing lately. So, I'm going to go ahead and make another small move left uh, with the feet and with the eyes. Uh, similar hand position. Not really going to add another, a lot of rotation yet. Let's see if I uh, get another one to go through the pins. Ooh. Okay, well, that was right quick. And had a little bit of too much rotation there, fell off of it, but good result. Excuse me. So you guys are gonna have to let me know um, if you like these online kind of no cut videos a little bit more. Um, it's been tough with my schedule to try to find time to shoot videos and and edit a ton of them and do a bunch of different reviews. So I found that if I can give you guys a little bit online review here, the editing's a lot quicker. Um, I can get them out a little bit faster than I have been. So I'm going to go another one left. Uh, another left with the eyes too. I'm going to try to add a little bit more rotation on purpose this time. It's pretty good. I think for me, um, this ball is going to be good when there's a lot of friction. And something like uh, my Night Road or my Fate is just going to be a little bit too quick. And I need something just to lock up a little bit faster. I think I'm going to be able to go to this Absolute. Um, again, with just a little bit of service on it. With how clean this R2S Deep is, um, it really does not need any help getting down the lane whatsoever from the polish. So I've liked this actually a decent amount more since I've hit it with that 2,000 and keep about a 3,000. So I'm going to go another two left. Two left with the eyes, too. Just to add a touch more rotation again. A little bit up the lane, but honestly not too bad. Again, I think it's just how clean this cover is for me and with how how stretched the pattern is right now from all the open play. Um, from this far left, I don't really think much is going to see see the friction in the proper zone and slow down enough to really shape. But I'll move another, another two left. Um, we're going to go one with the eyes and uh, really try to rotate it. 
try to get it right a little bit quicker. There we go. So again, I think this ball is going to be pretty good um, with those steeper angles. I can get it right a little bit quicker, have it be a little bit more responsive. So I'm going to go another three and one left, and again get it get it right really quick. More rotation. See if we can get one more to go through the pins like that. pretty good <laughs> almost stepped off there uh guy getting the pin down in the gutter caught me off guard didn't think he was going to walk as far over but again pretty good shot there um just not quite where the lanes need to be i think for this ball to really be in play so now i'm going to go to what i would consider the ball up from this should be the phase two uh, i have about a 2000 service on mine five inch pin uh, short buffer as well this is going to want to stand up just a little bit quicker in the absolute um, so we'll go back a couple right try to get it into that funnel again a little bit firmer firmer yeah. and I'll roll it a little bit more and about to be expected. You can see that um, slow down a lot quicker um, than the absolute will. Uh, smaller, smaller core, but a lot stronger of a cover. So again, it's just the exact shape that I expect to see out of that. I'm going to bump up two left. Um, still pretty forward with the hand. Not really going to do anything crazy at the bottom. That's pretty good. Fell off of it, but good result. Again, it's just lack of practice. Execution-wise, um, we're just not really there, unfortunately. Um, I'm putting in a lot of time at work, the gym when I have time, um, just preparing hopefully to get into Fire Academy in the middle of this year. And after that's done, um, the schedule is going to open up a ton because we'll be working 24 hour shifts and uh, only seven days a month. So I'm going to really get back into sharp tournament shape then. But for now, make do with what we can. Move another couple left. Um, only one left for the eyes again. I'm going to try to add a little bit of rotation on this shot. Hopefully we post it. That's pretty good. That was definitely right. Missed that one a touch at the bottom too. So I'm going to stay in the same spot. Um, one more shot with this ball. And just add a little bit more rotation. Make sure I catch it. Catch it all at the bottom this time. But with this ball, um, it's not going to like the angle nearly as much as the absolute will, just because of the cover being so much stronger and creating a lot more friction. So I really got to help it um, with the rotation uh, to get to respond properly downline. Wow. I actually thought that was pretty good. So you know what? we're gonna do one more. I'm gonna jump another like four or five left. Uh, a couple with the eyes. See if we can get it to that friction spot a little bit faster. I actually caught that one and threw it pretty good, so I think that's why it, it slowed down as much as it did right there. Let's see if we can get one more decent shot. All right. And, Try to rotate it at the bottom of the swing here. There you go. That's pretty good. All right. So now this time, 
Uh, I'm going to go to the night road, which I would consider as kind of like the Fate. Um, just a smaller core, same cover, the REX Pearl. But the night road's been kind of my go-to burn ball with quotations on it when I know that there's pretty much unlimited friction right and I can get super steep. Um, the night road's been kind of the go-to ball. Used to be the original high road, um, which I just don't throw as much anymore just because of the volumes of oil I see. We're going to go back right again, kind of where I started with the other two. Try to trap it, the ball up the lane. Uh, see if my swing will cooperate with me since uh, it was just so open. I'm going to try to shut everything down again. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, and I just, I mean, I just don't think uh, the lanes are quite at the spot where the night road's going to be the ball. But you can see that that was uh, visibly cleaner, much more responsive uh, than the absolute will. And this is not going to lock up down lane nearly as much as the absolute will, which for how big the core is on the absolute, I really don't think it locks up um, really at all. Um, but just that asymmetry in those blocks tends to get things to go a little bit more forward. Whereas symmetric stuff might be a touch sooner, um, but it also keeps going down the lane a little bit more. So I'm going to move two right, or two left, the feet, and one off with the eyes. Just get a little bit slower with it because we're going to be in more, more volume of the pattern. Still stay pretty forward. I was just slow. Very slow, slow, slow. Slow and right quick. Bad combo. But as you can see, um, even with being as slow as that was, it still, still gets through there pretty easily. As compared to the other two balls. Probably would have went Brooklyn if I threw the other one there. That slow and that right quick. I'm going to go another one left. None with the eyes. I open it up just a touch more uh, and add just a little bit of rotation here. There we go. Good shot. Yeah, like I said uh, earlier in the video, I think you guys are just going to have to let me know if you like this style of a review video a little bit better. Um, not cutting anything out. Obviously, not impressing anyone by splitting any boards here. Never have and probably never will. Um, but it gives you guys kind of honest feedback on what to expect out of the balls, even on like, awful shots, which seems like it's pretty much every other one at this point. So we'll move another three left. Uh, one with the eyes, really get open here. Try to get the ball to the friction really quick. Add, uh, add more rotation again. Is that two properly executed shots in a row? PBA Tour, here we come. All right. Let's see if we can get a little crazy here and go three for three on properly executed shots. I'm going to move another four left with the feet. Three with the eyes. Because that one was right pretty quick. It's about as quick as I want to get it right. And add, again, more rotation. And just a little bit slower on the ball speed. See if we can let it slow down just a little bit more. Wow. All right. <laughs> no, no, I didn't mean, I was just re-racking it. <laughs> no, I was saying, I don't... I don't practice enough, so I, it takes me like two games until I start throwing halfway decent shots. <laughs> it's tough. All right, well, there you go. Three three properly executed shots there. Three pretty good results. Um, so that night road is definitely going to be a ball down um, from the absolute. Gives me a lot more shape. It's going to be a little bit cleaner, more responsive. And the phase two is the exact opposite. Going to see a little bit more traction out of it, a little less shape. Um, yeah, here we go.